For the two of us, I would say we're not just brothers, we're best mates and we just don't take a minute of it for granted that we've got each other. People have said, what happens if one of you can't get through it, what do you do? And we just said, then it's game over. Like we, it's not, we're not here to, for one of us to finish this. It's the two of us. So we either, we either don't finish or we finish together. We're running from one side of Kangaroo Island to the other, so we're starting at Cape Willoughby and then running virtually straight through the middle of Kangaroo Island to um, down the end to Cape Border, so which is, yeah, 155 kilometres. And then just to top it off, I've never done a 100 mile race, which is 160 kilometres, so we'll probably we'll do that and then have a little 5K more to go to, to just get me to that 100 miles. Side by side, two brothers, 160 kilometres. It's been the pipeline for a few years. Uh, the two of us love running together, both individually done their own ultras, but it's super exciting to do it together side by side. So getting it to this point has just been, how can we logistically make it work? Jacko living in Adelaide and myself in Perth. In the lead up, Jeff, the gent who'd created the FKT, he reached out to Jacko. He said, hey boys, you know this is awesome, love it. Just wanna let you know that I have finished it. I finished it the reverse way unsupported um, and here's my time and since then he's been nothing but great and so we're so thankful for his expertise and, and his want to share. Jeff's time was 21 hours and 33 minutes. The goal for us is now there's a distance and there's a time so be sub 21 and a half hours. I guess the quote for me that summarizes probably this entire journey is if you want to go fast go alone, if you want to go far go together. We're doing this cool run, let's, why not do it for a charity? And then, yeah, Angus sort of come up with the idea of canteen. I think cancer is something that touches sort of everybody. Like I'm a school teacher and at school, we've had kids, yeah, who've gone through the battle of cancer and, you know, these kids are meant to be having the times of their lives and they're in hospital battling. It didn't feel like it should just be about us. You know, we've had people reach out who are on their own cancer journey or people who have experienced it very closely. It makes it so worth it, you know. We're gonna to choose to suffer for 24 hours, give or take. That's pretty easy, relatively, to what some people go through, so. I, yeah, well, Hello. firstly, I just wanna thank everyone for being here. It's obviously, yeah, like we've, we've all spoken about, everyone's got heaps on at the moment in life, and it's been, it's not just down the street from Adelaide, we haven't just done it at, you know, somewhere nice and easy for everyone. So very appreciative that everyone's here and um, just, yeah, stinking to get out there, to be honest, just can't wait. So bring it on. Up's just been ginormous, like mentally, physically, man. Everything's just been overwhelming. So I think, to be honest, getting there, the instant relief of touching the lighthouse, and then just getting out and getting on with it was just epic. It was just like this is everything we've been planning for, and we're finally here. It's not we're gonna do this. Can't wait to do this. Looking forward to this. We are we are here and we're in it. Our one job is set in stone. One job is get from here to the other side of the island. You 
battle with yourself more than anything, I think. You have those moments where you're out here and you're like, what am I doing? Like, I'm just running across an island. Why am I doing this? Like, I don't have to do this to myself. And I think that's where having Angus next year is pretty, like your brother next year is pretty cool. We're here together and I, I honestly, like it's easy to see him say now that it's, it's gonna be dark moments, but I think having him next to me is gonna be like, a friendly reminder of why I'm here and why we're doing it, so. Um, and there's water bottles in the front, Mum, as well. Hey, Jackson, look. Thank you. Good. Jackson, what have you heard something? Yeah, I had a little bit of a niggle, which was super strange. Um, sort of my right Achilles played up a little bit on me, but it was one of those things where I was like, I don't know, I didn't want to make a fuss about it because I was also like, oh, it's just, it'll, it'll go away. It kind of got worse and worse and worse, and I was like, shit, I better actually do something about this before it becomes a major issue. To sort of start running and then have something come up was frustration immediately, like why is this happening now, I guess. I was scared, like not gonna lie, there was parts of that first section I was like, fuck, how am I gonna make this happen? Like I'm really struggling. To be honest, I think it was almost a blessing because it just kept us honest early and, and we didn't overdo it. I'd say one of the main sayings throughout the whole thing was just like, keep the tickets in the tank, just hold on to them, keep banking Ks. A faster K isn't worth it if you suffer a walking K. Like it just, it equals itself out so quickly. Yeah, next markers. Yeah, good. Just... Achilles is doing my head in a little bit, but hopefully it loosens up. If I have to crawl, I'll crawl. We'll yeah. get there. The main thing was four hour blocks. So every four hour block was a pit stop, like a main pit stop. Within that, it was kind of four kilometre blocks. So four kilometres was roughly half an hour or thereabouts. Breaking it down into very micro goals, just keeping all those little things so you're just never getting too far ahead. We never really spoke much about the end. It was always just get to the next one, get to the next one, get to the next one. Half time of the footy. Bruce Bowes up by a few goals. Just hanging on. Third quarter's where it all happens. Do you guys want some like snacks or something? Like chips or um, anything else? What else have we got? Sorry to be fussy. Achilles is still sore, um, yeah. but hopefully, hopefully we're trending in the right way, I think. It's like sometimes it feels good to go faster than we'd like to run, sometimes it feels good to walk, so it's kind of just juggling, juggling what's working. Alright, let's see how this big fella's going. How are you, King? Good. How's that food, eh? That's actually quite nice. I would have thought so. I knew having him there the whole way would be such an uplifter, but like it was just so much better than I could have ever expected. Just like to have like the best version of yourself next to you, just keeping you accountable. So listen to what he needs, whether it's me just saying 2Ks, get through 2Ks and just help pushing along, just finding ways to get the best out of each other. I know what motivates him and, and gets him going. Just start the limber up now. Here we go. Let's go. I honestly can't even remember the last time we had an actual fight about anything. Like we just get on and sort of always have, I think. Like, I mean, growing up, sure, we used to have punch-ons and stuff like that. But I think as we've grown up, we've just kind of yeah, I don't know, appreciate each other and appreciate how lucky we are to actually have a brother and like get along, I suppose. So if there's anybody in the world that I'm gonna to listen to, it's probably, you know, it's him, it's mum, it's dad and it's Claudia and they're all there. So like, you need that kick up the arse. Having the, the family and the support there is like, it's perfect. It's everything that we need. The training that we've, we've done, like our coach has been phenomenal. Like we just, we trust in him 110%. And if, if he says we're good to go, like, we trust that that's, like, we're good. You'll find yourself, whether you want to or not, you'll be chasing the daylight down um, to make the most of it before the night time. It's always the way. It'll be cool, so it's gonna be, um, you know, gonna have to keep an eye on that. Psychologically, I think, um, you know, this is when they both need uh, each other. It'll be good, and I've got every confidence that they're looking good.
Yeah, we don't have any gear, do we? No. I don't think so. Yeah, there's someone just watching back there. Doing well, it was a really good pat. We're at 66 k's, just under eight hours. Yeah. Maybe some clothes swap here. Are you gonna change? I'll go roll my piece of glass. Yeah, it's actually really good. You're not part of either. It's not meant to go on a pizza, mate. That was a better four four hours in the first war. Yeah. Yeah, just bracing for the night now. Getting a change of clothes and get some warmer stuff on, and should be into it. Is it cold? It's getting cold, yeah. It's getting gonna cold. be cold tonight. It's going to be pretty chilly, I reckon. But we'll but, be right. Yeah. Looking got, forward to it. Got a lot of reasons yeah. to keep going. So. I'm actually excited. I've never done it before. I've never run through the night, so I'm a bit excited for that. Getting like, yeah. You feel your body sort of getting tired as the sun disappears, which is going to be tricky, but we'll hang in there. Um, Black. 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 My thoughts with when it gets to a run like this. I think it's literally like 90% between the years rather than the physical aspect. Yes, you need to prepare for it, but like in my mind, anybody's capable of doing this if they set their mind to it. See you, man. Keep Good it going. Lads. Well done. Catch up. Throughout, you definitely have thoughts of like, is is this gonna happen? Is, are we gonna make it in time? Are we gonna, like you have those thoughts for sure. When I was feeling that pain, it was more so about letting Angus down. I was like, oh, I just need to keep going for him. On the main road there, it was a, a beautiful place to be at night, just like dead quiet, glorious road. Being on that highway, you know, such a busy highway normally, and we, we might have seen one other person, I think, from like, yeah, 1 a.m. through to 5 a.m. or whatever it was, and. I don't know, in my head it was almost like it's us against the world sort of thing, like let's just go, like we're out in the middle of nowhere with my best mate just tapping along, like how good is eh? this? Yeah, actually enjoying this night so far, early early days, but yeah, the night session's been really nice. Legs are flowing pretty well yeah. still. So in a good rhythm, just yeah. keeping each other going. Achilles is feeling good, eh? Yeah, it's getting there, it's, yep. it's coming good, which is massive. Yeah, I'm surprised, like, do you want it? I will, yeah. From where I was earlier, my body feels much nicer, which is good. And once we got past 100, Every K was unknown to him. And so for me, it was like, I can guide him towards where we're going, because I've kind of been there before. But you also, every time you do it, it's different. So it's also like, I don't know what's coming either. You hear a lot of ultra runners and people say, if you're running 100 mile, it's often the race starts at 100 kilometers. So there was no real set plan, it was just working. Like it was just working for both of us and it was working really well. So we got into groove and that was a nice section, I think. We were both just kind of living off each other's highs and just being like, yeah, we got this, like let's, let's fucking go. Where we changed from the main road, the road we were just tearing up, onto the dirt, basically as if we pushed a button as we hit the dirt and then the rain was like, we're coming for you. So you know, if you're gonna, you're gonna do this, you're gonna earn it. You know, if you, you wanna get to this, to this cape, you know, it's not gonna be easy and it wasn't.
I think the body really started to scream from about 1.30. I think from about 1.30 to the end, you know you're close, but you still know you've got 30 kilometers. If you start going 29, 28, 27, you just, you feel like you can get eat up by that. And towards the end, Jacko said we were gonna have a pit stop at like 4 a.m. and he just, he's like, I'm not, he's like, if I sit down, it's too comfy. Like that chair with a rug, it's raining, we're wet, we've got head torches on. It's a lot that would could tell you just to put your head back and just doze off. You have to keep yourself accountable, keep each other accountable, and just fight on. Because yeah, it's constantly there and you've really just got to keep showing up for every time that demon just gives you an out, you know. There's a shower in the van, you know, there's a warm bed there. You know, you just gotta keep telling it like, yep, not too bad, we've got a job to do. There's a lot of emotions along that along that dirt road, you know, watching Jacko really you know, for him it's uncharted territory and it's not easy for it wasn't easy for either of us, but just watching him hurt a lot. It's tough, you know, I'm trying to be the the positive reinforcement but at the same time you're hurting as well. And you're watching your your best mate hurt a lot. It took a lot to just keep on hammering. You know, and he just, you know, a few times he said like, I just, just don't let me let us fail. Like, don't let us, don't let me be the reason we don't get there fast enough or don't get there. And I was like, mate, well, we get there together or we don't get there. Like, I'm here to do it with you and that's it. Like, that's the end of the conversation. So the amount of people who messaged us and just said like, what you guys have is special. Like, that's special to me. Um, yeah, just, yeah, we're lucky to have each other and, yeah, he just means the world to me. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's just special to, to want to do it together and, you know, I don't, I want to be a person who's like a man of my word, you know, like if I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it and I want him to live like that and I know he looks up to me but I look up to him as well. Yeah, you know, yeah. I said the if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And I think that's what I want the Bruce brothers and this Cape to Cape to to stand for. It's pretty special when we first <laughs> got eyes on the the lighthouse, <laughs> mainly because Angus was I don't know. He, he somehow I reckon we saw 40 lighthouses. If you ask him, he's like, there it is, there it is, there it is. I'm like, it's not a fucking lighthouse. Yeah, a lot of. Emotions, especially as we got closer. I was also at the point where I like, mentally up my sails, like, thank fuck this is over. Like, I am just exhausted. Not only that, everybody else is exhausted. The whole crew's been up for so long. I'm looking forward to the hours or two that follow it where we can sit back with the crew, you know, talk about how fucking cool that was, like, and what we've just achieved would be pretty cool.